George, hey. one after a, a long time since playing Super Rugby, how does it feel to be back? That's, yeah, it's awesome, man. It's um, excited to take the field against the Chiefs this weekend. Um, it's been a couple months, 10, 11 months, and um, learned a lot about myself. Um, missed the game, um, but also feeling like I've come back a bit, bit better than what, what I was before, both physically and mentally, so um, ready to get into the season, yeah. Is this a good gauge as well of, I guess, you know, there's not much sterner test, particularly up front, than the Chiefs? Yeah, yeah, they've always been known for a, a strong set piece scrum and, and line out so um, what a way to come back then to you know come back against the Chiefs and um, their mighty scrum and, and line outs as well so uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge and um, yeah it's going to be a good one in the weekend so yeah. their forward pack look like they're firing mm. um, Scott had seen, I don't know if you've seen the wee fisty cuffs and <laughs> yesterday. What do you make of that? Is oh, that... no, nah, uh, boys will be boys, you know. Just uh, <laughs> It's always good, like, uh, having a bit of edge at training and, and big games like that, there's always going to be edge both sides of, you know, uh, both both teams will have the edge during their training. So I um, saw that and, um, yeah, I definitely know that the Chiefs will be ready for, for us this weekend. So, yeah. As a player preparing for a game, like, you obviously want to be firing, but I guess how do you draw that line of, you know, firing, but also, hey, you know, let's not knock anyone out. Yeah, well, lucky for me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite a blue dot. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm real blue. I, I kind of just try and stay away from that thing and just try and nail my job. And if someone tries to get into my head, I just try and walk away and, and get away from it because uh, I know it'll put me off. So <laughs> for me, I just have to focus on my job and, and stay away from, from any niggle or anything because uh, I know I'll go off task real easy. So, <laughs> yeah. Does it play George? Did you... Trimmed up? Have you put, where have you sort of gone? Um, I'm um, actually, oh yeah, it's, I have, uh, I stay the same weight, oh, and, um, but somehow my skin folds have dropped just a bit, so that's a win for me. Um, but yeah, uh, fitness wise as well, kind of feeling, uh, feeling really good as well and, and fresh and ready to go. And um, for me, I, I guess now being a more experienced player it does take a bit of a warm up for me to get into training now. I'm um, knowing that I've got this knee, so um, yeah, extra warm up, extra warm up times now heading into to games and trainings and things like that. But um, it's all part of it. So, yeah. How comfortable is it? Can you like well, you obviously played in the preseason? Can you you don't have to think about it now? Does it feel just fine? Uh, just yeah, the first first preseason, pre-season game it was um, you know I was thinking a, a bit about it, but um, as time went on and I played that second preseason game, I kind of forgot about it and just let every, oh, everything just happen naturally and. And now during training, I don't really think about it now, which is good, which is what, what I kind of want. Um, and it's, so it's good confidence is building now and, and just getting back into my groove again. So, yeah. Nice. We're talking with the others about some other guys stepping up with leadership roles. And, is, um, and other guys coming out of skin. Is Christian Leo Willie one of them? I'm seeing a lot of uh, you and him. There's a bit of banter on social media. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, um, he's definitely bringing a vibe uh, off the field. Social media game, uh, he's, TikTok game is strong. Eh? He's, he's quite a dancer. And, and um, you see him straight away and you can see his presence with his uh, diet here, you know straight away, okay, this guy has got the energy. So I'm trying to recruit him to take over me now as a new hype man for Crusaders and I'm sure he do a good job, but nah, it's awesome having him around. And um, for me, sometimes it's good just having a bit of a dance or just a bit of a banter with, with Leo and just kind of switching off from footy at times, yeah. So, you yeah. mentioned at the start, George, about learning a bit more about yourself and yeah. you know, you all that time to dwell. You have to sort of elaborate on that because it's obviously a, a huge time of reflection. You're not able to get straight into, well, obviously on the field, but rehab and stuff. Did it make you sort of reset goals, expectations? Like yeah, that? it did. It did made me reset a lot of things. Uh, my goals, what I kind of wanted in the next couple of years um, and just my mindset to come back stronger than I, wa I was before. Um, I kind of realised like um, an injury, it's something you can't control. But um, I kind of told myself just control what I can control and the rest will happen and so I focus on my rehab as much as I could and focus on the things that I, I could and let the and I guess let the body focus on itself and heal itself and um, I've come back a bit mentally stronger a bit mentally um, more resilient um, and but um, still still the same self though still the same self and so um, yeah feeling feeling confident and good heading into this weekend and um, yeah it's kind of looking back on it now it's um, all that hard work has kind of paid off coming into this weekend and I'm um, so grateful and, and honoured to, to don the Crusaders jersey again. Yeah. We've heard a lot this morning the phrase iron sharpens iron. Yes. Um, five guys including yourself in, that, in the prop stocks who have played for the All Blacks. Like, oh, yes. how, how has it been that, like, with guys like Owen coming back and, and that sort of competition within the 
crops. Yeah, it's, it's been awesome having Owen there and even like the likes of Moods as well. And um, for me, I'm, I've been scrumming against Owen during the preseason and um, I just keep picking his brain and asking him for tips. My first year here, he was, um, you know, he was here as well and he helped me a lot through my first year and, and now my fifth, sixth year, he's still here helping me a lot as well. So um, that iron shop and iron is huge, especially in our front row and um, we've got probably a good depth in our front row and everyone's capable of playing 80 minutes, everyone's capable of coming off the bench and bringing that experience and um, I think that's the beauty about it and it's healthy competition for us front rowers and um, the good thing with healthy competition is you get better from it and you want to grow and you want to um, beat the guy next to you but in a healthy way so um, it's been awesome over pre-season and it's going to be an awesome season of competition between our front rowers so yeah. Um, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, those boys look after their body well, the moods and the franks, and um, I'm 31 now, so, but I'm young at heart. Age is just a number, so, and, um, but yeah, hope so. They're still, still battling away 36, 37, maybe even John R. Ford's 39, 40, you know, so <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> yeah, so.